In this video, we describe our interactive tensor field design system. A user can create an initial tensor field by using regular elements, each of which is extended to a global basis field and summed. Unwanted degenerate points often occur during this process, such as this wedge and this trisector. A user can also use singular elements, such as the center element and the node element. In addition, a user can perform tensor field rotation and reflection. Rotations and reflections do not change the number or location of degenerate points, and a second reflection will return the field to its original state. Note that the red curves are the separatrices of the field. Also shown are the minor fields and an overlay of both major and minor fields. Our system also supports interactive display of tensor fields. A tensor field can be converted into a vector field, such that the number and location of degenerate points do not change. For example, a trisector becomes a saddle, and a center becomes a dipole. The inverse conversion brings the vector field back to the original tensor field. Our system supports degenerate point movement. Here, two trisectors between a pair of centers are moved closer together. By converting the tensor field into a vector field, we reuse algorithms of singularity movement from vector field design. In this example, the user modifies the edge field extracted from an image of the Mona Lisa. By adding regular elements in the background, brushstroke orientations are regulated. Notice the wedge on her temple, which causes an unnatural look near her eye. By moving the wedge to the corner of her eye, a more natural look is produced. Here is a comparison of the rendered image before and after the wedge is relocated. We now show examples of creating tensor fields on a 3D surface. For the bunny, the user created a tensor field by putting a node element on the head and another one in the center of the tail. Notice additional degenerate points appear in natural places, such as the tip of the ears. The field shown in the next example is a numerical estimation of the curvature tensor which contains a wedge and trisector pair that appear unnaturally in the middle of the horse's body. They cause visual artifacts in a pen and ink sketch rendering and were removed through pair cancellation. Here is the comparison between the two fields utilizing a pen and ink sketch rendering. Thanks for watching.